Okay, I got a few things I want to get off my chest about Kingdom Hearts. Now, I've never made a Kingdom Hearts video, but I do have to let you guys know that I am a huge fan of the series. I played every single game, I mean every single Kingdom Hearts game, and I have been dying in anticipation waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3. I know everything there is to know about the series. It is most likely my favorite video game series and it is the most precious to me it was basically the video game that was the cap of my childhood that being said you can understand that the third installment of the game would be very important to me it's something i've been waiting 10 plus years on and i know there's people who's gonna say they haven't announced kingdom hearts 3 for 10 years but motherfucker we've been waiting for a very long time for this game and I am excited for it. I can't help but to be excited for it, but I am also very, very concerned. And this newest gameplay premiere was supposed to be the thing that satisfied and justified and made me feel a lot more comfortable and waiting for this game and being hyped for this game. But unfortunately, it really didn't. Now, uh, once again, I've never played the game. Uh, this is just me going through oh, the gameplay footage from the premiere event. And the premiere, premiere event is still not the release copy of the game, but Square Enix was confident enough to let people play this version of the game. So it's safe to assume that this is very, very close to what they want Kingdom Hearts 3 to be. And when it comes to the way it looks, of course, the graphics look very, very good. It looks very, very um, fresh and uh, it's a cartoony and things like that. Uh, it, it looks like it fits into next gen. It look, this is how I would imagine Kingdom Hearts should look on this generation of consoles. I'm not really mad about the looks. There are some times when I'm actually very confident in the graphics and there are other times where I kind of question it. But I suppose that maybe they want the good parts that I'm seeing here compared to the bad parts. I, I, I guess that the good parts will be better once they get done polishing the game. But I'm not really the type to complain much about graphics. Obviously, good graphics in a game can go a long way. Look at God of War 4 uh, when it comes to immersion and things like that. But Kingdom Hearts has never been the top of the graphics food chain in any of the times it was released. It was always just a very decent looking game a very good well i don't want to say decent a very good looking game it was never the best graphics wise but it was always good looking it was fine for the time it came out no one ever complained about the graphics of kingdom hearts but at the same time no one ever got mad at them either they were always very very um good and and the quality was there the thing about kingdom hearts that people really liked were either the story or the gameplay or both now the story of kingdom hearts has been convoluted for years uh sorry if you think that it's not but it's absolutely 100 convoluted by the definition of the word at this point there's no way around it and it's only gotten worse from e as each installment goes by as waiting for kingdom hearts 3 i'm pretty sure namora and the writing staff at kingdom hearts does not have the quality and the power and the ability to justify and remedy all of these issues especially considering they can continuously bring back old characters back to life because they don't seem to want to create any new ones um so hopefully after kingdom hearts 3 all of this stuff just gets erased and they can start clean because as of right now this mess of a plot is not good there are a lot of things about this plot that uh, that just don't make any sense when you think about it 0.2 a fragmentary passage which was the last kingdom hearts 3 demo basically it's it's really uh it really set set that in stone for me that the story of kingdom hearts is pretty much done like i'm still gonna go through the game and try to experience the story for what it is but i'm pretty sure this story is never going to be fixed from what it is now and i've kind of accepted that so the only thing that i have left to look forward to in kingdom hearts 3 other than the story which is confusing is the gameplay and the gameplay doesn't look that good i'm sorry it really doesn't when you compare it to kingdom hearts 2. kingdom hearts 2 was the pinnacle of gameplay in the kingdom hearts franchise in my opinion it is the only game to ever have the perfect gameplay kingdom hearts 3 dream drop distance 3ds kingdom hearts dream drop distance for the ds came close but it wasn't as good as kingdom hearts 2 i'm pretty sure everyone here uh who's a kingdom hearts fan could admit that so kingdom hearts 2 had the best gameplay so when you compare kingdom hearts 3's gameplay even the early game gameplay compared to kingdom hearts uh 2 
it just doesn't look right there's something off about it kingdom hearts 2 it just looks a lot more sh i don't know it just looks a lot more clean it's hard to say really because i can't really put a word to it but if you just look at the way sora swings his keyblade in kingdom hearts 2 in comparison to the way he sings his keyblade in kingdom hearts 3 it's it's just it's worlds apart really it's it, I, i'd hope they would have fixed it by now but i don't think they ever will and also uh the the thing that really bothers me about kingdom hearts 3 is that kingdom hearts 3 is looks like it's going for more flashiness over substance which is something that a lot of other uh, kingdom hearts youtubers have claimed to be a problem that they are noticing and i always notice this problem but now i see it more than ever there are so many flashy moments in this game and the flashy moments look great don't get me wrong but at the end of the day if a game is flashy that's fine kingdom hearts 2 was flashy too it had a lot of flashy stuff when sora um got his uh, his final form and he had a lot of different abilities at the end game he definitely was super flashy but the thing is there was always a base level of consistency and quality in the gameplay that the flashiness compounded upon and if you don't have that base quality in gameplay that base tight controls then you're your flashiness just doesn't count it doesn't matter it isn't exciting to use this flashiness because well why would i use all the why would i want to use all this stuff if i can't even enjoy the game for what it is at its base level it just doesn't make any sense it's just a whole bunch of cutscenes being played at the same time rather than playing a video game and when you do play the video game it just doesn't look that good uh, i i i'm really really disappointed with what i'm seeing and it's breaking my heart because i am so excited for this game i can't help but be i can't help but play it it doesn't matter they can release kingdom hearts 3 just be a blank disc and i will buy it i don't care at this point because i've waited too long but at the end of the day this just doesn't look right this doesn't look like a good kingdom hearts game this doesn't even look like it it plays as good as dream job distance would play and that's very very sad of me to say i i hate to say this but it's true and and I, I i have no one else to vent this to because none of my friends give a damn about kingdom hearts but i have to find some kind of way to release the way i feel about this and if the game is in a state like this i just don't think it's gonna change and i i mean I, I hope it would but i don't think it will i'm waiting for some of the reviews from some of the more gameplay focused kingdom hearts youtubers who got a chance to play the game today and hopefully they can justify some of these things that i'm seeing ex explain them but i i i'm not sure and I'm very, I'm very sad about this. And another thing I want to say is, look at this running animation for Sora. This is not good. Like in Kingdom Hearts 3, Sora runs like, like what is this? In his, in his, in his Kingdom Hearts 3 outfit, in his new outfit in the Toy Story gameplay, he runs fine. But in Hercules world, it just doesn't look right. It doesn't look right. You can't tell me this looks right. And we said the same thing in the E3 2015 trailer, but that was in 2015. The game had just got announced, re-announced. So we kind of let it slide because we're like, okay, this is clearly early in development, right? But this is not early in development anymore. They're ready to release this thing in a few months. So how, how is this, what is this? How is he running like this? What? Can someone is is no one else looking at is no one else seeing this are you guys ignoring this 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 running animation here and i know it maybe this is just for a small part of the game but if the running animation of your character doesn't look right what are you doing square enix <laughs> what are you doing 